Well, that's the hog I got last night. I'm fixing to butcher that thing up. It's gonna be good eating. I haven't eaten all day, so I'm very hungry. I'm gonna cut him up and get some shish kebab going, get me a fire going, give me something to put in my belly here. I'm looking forward, nice young sow. Thought it'd be really good eating when I was butchering her up or cutting, uh, cleaning her up or whenever I was gutting her. Had a lot of fat on her, good, healthy, nice, healthy pig. So I look forward to eat, eat some of that tonight. A lot of fat on it. That would be pretty good eating, pretty tender. Cut into that back strap here. There's one nice back strap we'll put on our table here. And get the other back strap out. Just cut along the cut along right along the backbone, the tenderloin here. Get down and then you cut the end of it off right here above the the hind quarter 
then you just take your knife blade and just use the ribs there as a guide and just cut along the top of the ribs Butchering 101 And now uh, you can see the top of the rib cage Cut the end of it off And now we've got Tenderloin number two We'll put it right here next to our, our other tenderloin. That's going to go on the shish kebab tonight. We'll go ahead and get these hindquarters off and let them be cooling down. that ball joint right there That's yeah, coming loose. All right, there's one hind leg. We'll hang that up and let it cool. Do the same thing for the other side now. Get it hanging up. That old hog skin is pretty tough. Find that ball joint. It should be right there. There it is. Got to get into that ball joint there and it comes apart pretty easy once you find that. Just about got it. There it goes. And there's our other hind quarter right there.
Always keep a little bit of paracord handy. Use it for everything. All right, got them hung up. Make them a little bit easier to skin them out. Instead of working on the ground. A lot of fat on it. That's a good sign. That meat that means that meat may be pretty tender. We're getting there to get me a fire pit made and get a fire going and get something to eat here. Well, I'm getting my rocks all gathered up here to make my fire pit. Get that going so I can get me a fire going, something to eat, go gather up some more rocks around here. There's a creek right here behind me. A little bit of a wash, it's got a lot of rocks in it over here. I gather them up from here. I think that's going to be enough. I'm going to build a pretty nice fire pit because I, I may be here for quite a few days. So, I don't want the fire to get above my into my structure, so I'm going to build it about right in here. something to contain the fire so that'll be sufficient enough for a fire pit now I got to gather me up some wood it takes a you know a, a few hours to get your camp set up but it's nice to be able to come back to a setup like this if you're out hunting all day be able to come back 
place that you can call home temporarily. You know, got a bed to lay on, table to work off of, and eat off of, a fire to stay warm. So uh, it, it's worth it. Okay, it's time to get my shish kebab stick loaded up with some of this pork tenderloin. Got some really nice pepper and some onion to go along with it and just a little bit of seasoning. I'm getting pretty hungry. I'm looking forward to uh, getting this stuff cooked and done here. So I'm gonna start in on some of this bell pepper here. Some of this yellow bell pepper. And get some red bell pepper going. Oh, it smells good. Just the smell of these peppers. I am very hungry, famished. Haven't eaten all day. I am ready to eat. Get some of this onion going here. There's my table, my layout. I cut the top of one of these cedar trees down. The top has a lot of limbs on it. So that way I can span across my fire and then these little bitty uh, limbs I trimmed off, sharpened the points on them. Now I can load it up with meat and vegetables and get it cooking. Okay, I'm gonna cut these in quarters. All right, got my peppers. This is real. Tender meat feels really tender, tenderloin. Pork loin in my wilderness campsite. Okay, let's load up this shish kebab stick here. I'm gonna put a couple of onion on there first. Maybe some green pepper. A little bit of meat. Some orange pepper. Another piece of onion. Oh, that's looking good. Put another piece of meat on there. Meat, then some yellow to top it off. Some yellow on there. I got that one loaded up. All right, let's do this one here. All right, let's load up one more. Let's load up this one right here. All right, we're gonna get some onion on there. Not the prettiest shish kebab, but it'll work. Get some meat on there. Let's put some yellow on there this time. Some green, another piece of meat, and some orange. There, I think that's good enough. That's good enough for tonight. Okay, we just get to sit back and let the fire work its magic. I'm gonna stoke a little bit more wood on the fire here.
Boy, I can feel the heat. The heat coming back inside here, getting trapped inside this. All right, just sit here and relax and enjoy the rest of the day. That's starting to sizzle and bubble, bubble a little bit. That's, that's looking good. Starting to, I can see the, the fat starting to drip off a little bit. Just the right height on the heat. That's cooking really good. That ain't gonna take long. And just sitting here watching the, watching the pork loin roast on my open fire. Watching the, the fat dripping dripping off the meat down into the fire listen to it sizzle i'm getting pretty hungry but it's it's looking really good it's it's just the right height the flames are just barely licking the meat there and the shish kebab so it's not gonna be long it'll be done it's already kind of turning brown a little bit so it, it's it's cooking just perfect just right I forgot to put some seasoning on it, some salt and pepper. Oh yeah, that's looking good. I'm going to rotate it a little bit. Cook on the other side, on the bottom. Yeah, that's starting to get a little bit brown. Oh, that's looking so good. I am going to put some salt and pepper on it. Yeah. Salt always makes things taste better, of course. Some pepper. Oh, that's looking good. I like my wheat meat well done. I like it cooked well done, so it, it's looking pretty pretty good. It looks like all the Juices, uh, the fat's kind of dripped out of it mostly. Still a little bit going on there, brown on the outside. Uh, the peppers and the onion are looking really good, so we're getting close. Oh, I'm pretty tired. I'm looking forward to sleeping off the ground and sleeping on my bed here tonight with a full belly. I got this hog here for enough camp meat, which I got plenty of camp meat here for several more nights. And it'll it'll keep, I'll probably take, I know I'll be taking some of this home with me. And it'll, it'll keep really well here in the shade. It gets in the 40s during the daytime, around freezing at night, so perfect for hanging meat. So I'm not worried about that, it'll keep really well. I needed a rotisserie type setup, but I couldn't figure out how to do that and span that far I need a really pretty, pretty thick stick. Then it just clicked, you know, of course that's the way things happen. I uh, noticed all the little thin tree, uh, tree limbs coming off of the main, main branch there. So the big main thick branch will span that distance and then I just put shish kebab on the little branches there. Worked out just perfect. I never even thought think about that until I got out here and started looking at it. So that worked out really good. No, oh, this is my table. Got everything all cut up, ready to go for a second round of shish kebab. My pork tenderloin, peppers and onion, salt and pepper. Probably should have bought some type of a meat seasoning. Next time around I will. But I tell you, this table really worked out nice. When I was walking around, I noticed I knew I was gonna need some type of a, a rock for a table. I was able to find this real nice flat rock. It was heavy, but it was worth carrying it back into camp. Then, of course, just made some tripod table legs out of a cedar. Used the paracord. Like I said, that paracord, you gotta, you gotta have a lot of that with you to, in your backpack. It doesn't weigh anything, and it's really handy. You can use it for everything. Uh, using it to tie my bed together and keep off the ground. But I really like my table. It worked out really well. And any nice flat rock will work, or semi-flat. I use the paracord here to hang my meat. It's starting to get a little bit cool. And like I said, I can feel this heat, this heat coming up and getting trapped inside my tarp structure here. 
but I've got all my hunting gear clothes on that I need to keep warm so but I may keep the fire going oh yeah that's that's looking and feeling good it's getting there that is looking mighty tasty looking forward to that And what's nice about my shish kebab stick across there is it's green, green lumber, a green tree. Actually, it's cedar. And so uh, it's not going to burn. Take it a long time for that green to burn. So that meat will cook way before that my stick burns up. So there's just enough heat coming in to where I'm not burning the top of my tarp or anything. It's a fire pit's outside. But there's just enough heat that I can feel the heat radiant radiant heat coming off of there that's being trapped inside this tarp and it's very very warm I can step outside this enclosure here and tell a big difference of drop in temperature as the sun's going down it's starting to get a little bit cooler I, it feels good to step back inside here this is what I've built out here to get me through three or four day hunting trip or if I need to stay overnight it took me a couple of two or three hours to put it together but not too big of a deal I had camp food that I could have eaten if I needed to, but as an emergency, and uh, you know, brought some few vegetables and some seasonings in case. But I figured I'd get something, a hog or something to eat. And during deer season, of course, a deer or a hog. Still deer season. This is not January 15th yet. January 15th is when deer season ends in Oklahoma. So I, I could get a deer or a hog, either one. Not with the gun, of course. I'd have to use the bow, my crossbow for the uh for to, to harvest the deer and it's super uh nice to come home in the evening and spend the night in a nice shelter with a warm fire roof over your head a bed to sleep in above the ground fresh good meat to eat food and water so i can't ask for much more than that so i'm really happy with this setup Well, it finally got dark on me. I'm letting this meat cook and it's just about done. I'm not gonna wait on it any longer. So it's about ready to cook. Give it maybe a few more minutes. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this meat done. It's been cooking for 45 minutes to an hour. There we go. Oh yeah, that looks, that looks pretty tasty. Got to start on this one right here. Mmm, mmm. That's good. What in the spot?
and I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm actually having a blast on this trip it's just a beautiful night and stars are fixing to come out it's getting down to maybe about around 40 degrees but I can feel the heat off that fire and it's coming here it's just this enclosed tarp area is holding the heat so it's really nice and I step outside I can feel a difference in the temperature of course so anyway I hope you uh, enjoyed this as much as I did and uh, if you like the video appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to our channel we'll provide some more video 